Well, good morning, everyone. This is Paul from All About Motorbikes. I'm heading out to Pickering actually to meet up with a fellow motor vlogger, Adventures with Woody, aka Graham Calvert. And this day is particularly windy, and it's blowing me about all over. So you know, whoever's been out today needs to be safe. And I'm only going to go so far if it gets any worse, and I'm going to turn around and come home because it ain't worth risking your life it certainly isn't so what I'll do I'm gonna head towards Pickering if I get there I'll uh, come back to you with this uh, with some footage when I meet up with Graham so until then we're in the village of Castleton and coming over those um, mower tops it was blowing me all over the place and to be fair it didn't feel too safe at all I don't know whether it's the fairings on this bike that act like a bit of a sail but it's uh, quite um, quite scary and I know if it's like this Graham won't want to be out um, on exposed areas so hopefully oh, looks like that's uh, shut down so we're heading to Hetley Hall and up and beyond and over towards Pickering where we're meeting Graham Calvert Adventures with Woody and we're at Hetley Hall and a little bit more sheltered from that wind it was terrible coming over there you were getting buffeted all over but it's a nice day still, it's dry. And I don't feel that it's too dangerous. If it was blowing any harder than yes, I think I would have called it a day. But look at this. Look at this, guys. Hetley Hall it is. What a beautiful little place to be. I came here as a kid playing in the back down there. Or was it a little bit further around? Yes, it was down there we were playing, but uh, what a lovely little little place to come to. Well, folks, I think we're entering Pickering, and I'm a little bit early. We're not supposed to meet till um, 11 o'clock, and it's 10:33, which is typical of me. Very early always, and that comes from being in the army. Always prompt maybe too early really but anyway it'll give me a chance to get sorted out when I get here uh, you never know Graham might be here as well well I finally met up with him a fellow teapot owner adventures with Woody I just had a nice little chat and uh, we're gonna head over towards Hemsley Way now and uh, thoroughly thoroughly enjoying this ride we've been talking about old bikes and the differences Graham's is an American model, I believe. The Katana, 2004. Well, I've got to admire his efficiency. I mean, he pulled up there and uh, we're on about the route and he brought out a duplicate of what he's wrote for himself. That is absolutely brilliant and very, very thoughtful of you, uh, Graham, for doing that. Ah, I really, really admire you for that. And a fellow um, X Forces. It really is, it's good to be out. And especially with a fellow motor vlogger, Graham Calvert, Adventures with Woody, who could be vlogging about me as I'm vlogging about him. Well, you never know, do you? We've just passed the uh, marketplace of Hemsley, and now we're ready. Oh, I can smell fish and chips. And we're heading out towards um, Thirsk. Lovely little market town. 
Graham's just indicating there that I'd left me uh, indicators on, which is a bugger because I try not to do that. Thank you very much, Graham. Really appreciate that. Thursky's only nine miles away, Sutton Bank's only not too far, really, about three or four miles. And this is a really nice steady ride. It's relaxing as well. It's, I'm actually quite enjoying this. I don't know whether you can actually see up in the sky gliders, but there's a gliding school not too far from here. There you are, Yorkshire Gliding Club, from the, uh, just above the White Horse it is. Here we are uh, arriving at Sutton Bank. And it's nice to have someone who's steady. Oh, there's a bit of a slippage there on that bank. Look at this, it's beautiful. Look at all that rock face down there. It's fantastic. Some of the views here are brilliant. Right, uh, that's us leaving Thursk. Had a nice little bit of a a coffee stop and a good chat with Graham, which was really nice. So I believe we're heading over towards Masham now. And then we were looking over each other's bikes and there's like sort of subtle differences, even though they are the same bike. Um, this is an American import and there is subtle differences that I've noticed. Not much really, but still. Some lovely countryside roads. And I have to say, this is such a pleasurable ride. It's relaxed. <laughs> I've never actually ridden as relaxed in my entire life, and I am finding it absolutely brilliant. And it's something I shall continue to do. And hopefully this is a start of things to come with uh, the bike rides uh, that me and Graham can do. He mentioned something back there that uh, he's interested in doing and it's the North Coast 500 ride. Now that's on my bucket list of things to do. And uh, you'd find it, I found out that it's one of his uh, things that he wants to do as well. So it'd be interesting to see if we could uh, sort of do that together and uh, I can't think of anyone better to do the North Coast 500 with than Graham Calvert the uh, riding style and everything you take in, everything around you it's fantastic we do have some beautiful countryside throughout the UK so this is Masham my first ever visit to Masham and I think we bare left up here I could be wrong and I am <laughs> I actually thought we went up that way but we'll see I'm not overly fussed if we don't oh there's a lot of fallen debris here a little quick stop there just to check on the route. So it has been really windy down this way and uh, it's also highlights so it ain't worth rushing around. It's a nice little place. Look at the green. You know I love the sandstone houses. But it costs a fortune to have a house here. I was wondering if there was a pub. There's got to be a pub and it's aptly named the Black Swan. <laughs> Blackberries. Look at these. 
Wow. Now that is what I call a lovely, lovely village and look at the view out here folks. It's awe inspiring. Look at this. I've really got to thank Graham for putting them, bringing me out here. Unbelievable. Cheers bud. Wow. Looks a little bit low that like, I must admit. Well and truly low people. Definitely lack of rain on the... Uh, you can see where it's been up to. Well, that's a hell of a loss of water that. Leighton. very very low you can see where it uh, comes up the embankments there's not much of it left so we've just passed the reservoir there and uh, it just highlights how uh, how very low it is and how little rain that we've had this summer It's finally good to meet someone who I can, you know, go at their pace and enjoy it. Thoroughly enjoy it and all. What a beautiful ride. The whole view is taking my eyes hostage. It's um, desolate but beautiful. Look at the valley! God, it's gorgeous! And I've never been down this road in my life. And thankfully I have now, but I've come down on a machine that I love to be on, and that's my motorbike. Just look at the view ahead there guys, wow, the mass expanse, and this is obviously all working farmland as well, simply stunning, there's a head of water over to my left, wonder if that's another reservoir, When we get round here, yeah, you should be able to, yeah, there you are, you can see it now, folks. And this is the little village of Loft House. Reminds me of Last of the Summer Wine. They can close the gate off, eh? What a beautiful place. Wow, the two of the ocean must have come through this place. really can't fault the roads that we're on. We're heading now to, uh, I think it's Pateley Bridge. But some of the views that are, are down here are just breathtaking. Wow, just look at that. That is just simply beautiful. And I can't begin to imagine how bleak that must have been in the winter which, that we've just had when we had the beast from the east. These folks must have been cut off. But they're probably all prepared for it. 
because that's their way of life. So I think we're coming to Gouthwaite. I think that's what this expanse of water is, I believe. It's like being up in the Lake District. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely, it's beautiful. It's stunning. Yeah. It's half empty again, isn't it? It is half empty, yeah. I saw a sign back there, someone saying Galthwaite. I don't know what that meant. I actually don't know which one this is. I know we passed, know we passed several. Yes. And some of, I, I, I know there's both. Yeah, Loft House. Or was that Loft House? That was Loft House, yeah. So we're going to Ramsgate now. Yes. Right? Yeah. Galthwaite Reservoir was right. Is this Pateley Bridge? I think it is, it's Pateley Bridge. The nice little town of Pateley Bridge. This bridge crosses over the Little River Nid. Amazing little town. We really aren't going uh, quick at all, uh, but we seem to be uh, getting through this ride rather quickly. So I think we'll take it a little, even a little bit more steadier. We're a beautiful little place. Had a nice coffee and another good chat in Pateley Bridge, and we're just about to leave now. And uh, Graham was telling me that I should leave the camera on to uh, when we go up Pateley Bridge High Street, which I'm going to. Oh, I'm sure this is where that picture was that I uh, saw the Tour de France, or Tour de Yorkshire, sorry, come through. So that was Pateley Bridge folks. Yes, I'm definitely going to do some more of these uh, rides out with Graham, um, you know, once a month kind of thing. They're absolutely brilliant. At a really, really steady pace. The company's fantastic. Can't fault it. So we're heading to, I don't know whether it's Ripley, Knaresborough, where? Look at the views here. Look at those views! Well it's not as windy out here as it was back over my way. You just can't beat this countryside. I've said it often enough, but it's true. Today's been an excellent experience, folks. You know, normally I'm going out and I'm riding with people and, uh, you know, we're, I wouldn't say we're going really, really fast, but we're going at a fair rate or not, it's a progressive pace. But that's not been the case today, it's been a very, very nice, casual pace. And I have to say, I've enjoyed it. Combined that with the countryside, so this pace is allowing me to see everything around and taking my time to look at it as well. With some of the views on uh, 
that you get from these these high points they're outstanding so I will be looking forward to uh, the next run out with uh, Graham Adventures with Woody and as usual I'll leave a link to his channel a little village called Burnt Yates who comes up with these names? I've been coming across loose chippings that have uh, tar and feathered these roads and I have to say I cannot stand that it makes for a completely unstable ride so along this way I think is uh, I think this is Ripley well that's Ripley Caroline Park anyway but down this way is the uh, town of uh, Nairsborough and I think that's famous for um, Mother Shipton's Cave for now and uh, shortly um, we'll be coming up to the end of my ride with Graham I'll be taking the detour on to the A1 and heading over to Topcliff and making my way on that way and I think Graham's going to continue into York it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day I hope you folks have enjoyed it too and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here and say bye for now and thank you very much if you stay till the end of this video and hopefully the next one will be even better than this one so all that's left to say is bye for now folks bye